Okay, so we gave it a little bit of a stress test out there to kind of beat on it. I went from like tried to do a little crawling around on the grass with it, and uh, and I, I mainly wanted to see how it would react with these tires, fully locked axles, and um, it it passed the test of flying colors. Um, now. One thing you're going to notice on the truck is I did change the radiator in it, and I will put a link below for the radiators. Um, if you're looking for a radiator for your rig, you know, for your engines and all that stuff, search PC radiator on eBay or um, computer cooling or whatever. There are literally hundreds of these radiators out there, um, and they don't take that long to show up. You know, I think I ordered this uh, last week, and it came like within a week it was pretty quick um and let's see the other thing that i wanted to you can see in the back i kind of got a hacked in overflow tank on here uh, this is you know a lot of times you use our spare fuel tanks and all that stuff for an overflow for the radiator but um i also i'm going to put a link below for um an overflow tank that I, I seen on uh one of the builds that a guy in germany was doing on he was putting an l400 and Arma Felony, and uh, he used a oh, it's like a small reservoir for your clutch fluid for your motorcycles. Um, they're all over eBay, they're super cheap, they come in all different sizes, shapes, aluminum, billet. Um, and the ones I bought were like I don't know, probably three bucks a piece, five bucks a piece, or something. I bought a couple of them, and uh. Yeah, they got screw on lids, they got square ones, they got, and they and a lot of them give you the sizes of them. Um, they're a little big, they're you know, they're probably comparable, a little bit smaller than this little fuel tank here. Um, um, this was on like a Duratrax buggy or something, but uh, so you know, other than that, um, you know, I'll put a link for the engine below. Uh, one thing, one, one thing I wanted to squash right now because there's all kinds of chatter out there in the community of the RC world is how are the crankshafts in these engines? Um, well, if you've seen the recent video of Sterling Kit taking a L200 crankshaft and putting it in a vice and just hitting it with a hammer and it shatters to pieces and then they use the NR200 crankshaft and it 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 takes a good beating and it, it doesn't break. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, if you've seen these videos where they're trying to get, you know, 22,000 RPMs out of this thing, they they are just hammering on these things to the point where they overheat and they still stay running. So, so far, I like this the best of all the engines I bought. Um, it's reliable, you know, it's, uh, it's got some, you know, some eh, machining little quirks in the thing, like some of the ports don't line up. Um, but that's, that's workable stuff. You know, you're not rebuilding the whole engine because of something simple. You know, you can actually make your own exhaust system. The shorter the exhaust system on this, the better these run. Um, cause I got mine set up where I have, oh, some 16th fuel line for a car, you know, cause I kind of wanted to keep it scale. And if you've seen in my video, the tailpipe fell off, it got quieter and it ran even better. So to this today i love this engine i really do i think it's going to be a good contender out there um it has great torque low end and high end um i am running the three shoe clutch from um sterling kit on the thing and um it you know it, it works very well it grips very good and it it moves these squishy tires these uh these duratrack scalers are really soft and squishy tires and I'm running full locked axles and I've tried this before with some of my other builds and um, uh, I always have to put a differential in the front because it just it binds up the drivetrain so bad um, this would be a perfect crawler engine because it's so versatile low rpm high rpm you could probably run this um, instead of using the clutch setup on it you could probably run it with a belt setup with uh, something that engages in and out because they do sell the clutch um, that has the belt on it, you know, for a cog belt. And if you turn the belt upside down and run just two like pulleys on the thing and run another pulley to lay against it to engage it like a, you know, the old uh, cobble, cobble hack together go-karts back in the day, um, 
I think you'll be able to run this thing on idle because um, nothing seems to really stall it um, like the other engines that I have. So I'm saying this is a contender. This is going to be, right now, this is probably the best RC four-stroke crawler engine, you know, or scale engine you can buy out there. Um, you know, the, the I haven't tried out the, the Toyin X-Power yet. I don't know what that's about. Um, but this one has it beat already by cubic cc's so this one's bigger already and um and this one has one carburetor not two so it just makes it more scale and makes it more user friendly um now i don't have any fans hooked up on this radiator itself i put a taller one in it and um it but it did not overheat because i have the extra capacity of this here and when i do get my um my little motorcycle clutch fluid container in there it's going to be less hose um, the only overheating problem i have with this i blew one of these cheap lawnmower style hoses here and um they were they're not made for the heat you know they're just ba barely made for fuel if you put gasoline in them they get hard as a rock you know um so but that's my thoughts on this so far um like i say everything is was pretty much zip tied together on this rig so I could get a test run out there for you guys to see just how great this engine is. Um, it's it's pretty outstanding. I was, you know, I have no complaints about it whatsoever. So um, I know I said that about the L400s and stuff, but you know, that was kind of a sideline. But they never really took those engines and put them on video and tested them like they did this one when they were trying to get the 22,000 RPMs out of it. Um, they they pretty much beat this engine stupid and it, it started right back up stayed running again but uh so that's my thoughts on that um any questions comments hit me up um i've been crazy busy the last couple of days this is my vacation and you know and it's half over already um but i was going back and forth with some emails with some subscribers on uh different situations that are going on out there in the rc world um with engines and uh I'll leave it at that. Um, I don't know if anything will get done about it. Um, you know, everybody knows I've been working on um, the L400 changing head gaskets in it for a thicker head gasket, and I've got some feedback on that. Um, <clears throat> on my last video, I mentioned that uh, the crankshaft broke, but it did not. It, what happened was the guy's rod bolt actually came out, and the crank survived it. So... Maybe we're on to something with the thicker head gasket. Uh, I'll make another video at another time about that. And uh, like I say, I'll put the links in below for the engine, the radiator, the overflow. And uh, you guys have a good one. So like, share, subscribe if you want. Any questions, comments, feel free to hit me up. And uh, I'm going to convert this into something really cool. I mean, I may put that engine in my... Uh, new bright jeep product that i your know, project that i had the l400 in um i'd like to try it out on that to see because it's this is a super heavy heavy body and with all the stuff i got added on here it's really heavy and it still moves this thing along qu quite well it's not shifting in the second yet i think um sometimes those uh revo gearboxes the inside you know they they stick and you got to tear them apart and i don't know if they get thread lock or something on that little counterweight that kicks out but i you know every single time i've had a problem with one i've had to tear it apart free up that counterweight and it's just a small like a just a nano touch of thread lock or something that holds it in to keep it from actually engaging in the second gear but this thing really um, doesn't need second gear. I mean, it, it, you know, for something to bash around in. For the size of it, the speed of it, and the scale look of it, I think second gear would be riding on its roof or barrel rolling all the time. So, anyways, guys, you guys take care, and I will catch up with you with some more content later. So, adios. Have a good one.